Scylla. The Dorje, the sleeping goddess who inhabits this land, has her own language. It is a language she has taught him over these long weeks they have spent together. It is not a human language, not text that can be written on a page. Her words sound more like fish who break her surface, rapids that run beside him with their rhythmic thunder, plants along her banks who sustain his being, and flowers that open him to the million of hi millions of hidden senses. She speaks a multitude of other words in this language only she and he know. Still many words remain that she has not uttered. There are many guides. There are many other guides along his path. There are the leaves and the birds, the wind and the stones, the sun and the moon, the stars and the soil. Each of these has its own language to teach. And there are those like the clouds and the rain whose voices drown out all others. A language is made up of words, whatever their shape. And a word is a living thing. It is its own, it is an entity unto its own. Try to imagine a thought without words. Then try to imagine a word without thoughts. A word is a bridge. It is a wave of light and sound that spans the perceived distance between one thing and another. Words make access possible. In the beginning was the word, and the word was split into infinity. All words, then, are part of the whole. Just as we are each part of the whole, there are individual words as we are individual mean beings. Each word carries with it the memories of the whole logos. Just as we each carry the memory of the whole universe. The moon speaks in slivers and halves. It has divided itself to stay in the rhythm with the split apart words. The moon is forever reincarnating itself, reinventing its language. The moon is the mirror of the sun, though the sun has its own language, which the moon cannot speak. It is important to remember that half the world is upside down. So it is with our thoughts. One's word for the sun may be another's moon. Words grant freedoms beyond quantification. They bridge galaxies in a blink. And they bring us back to the stories of who and why we are. It is important to remember, though, that a word can never be more than half the moon. Its journey is often treacherous, lined as it is with slippery surfaces and dangerous creatures. Each step must be taken mindfully. It is no different with each word spoken. Courage, humility, and trust in one's own voice, these are the paths to understanding. Combined, they are the keys to unlock the oneness that words carry in their helix.